Praise the Lord, everybody. I just wanted to come on for a few minutes today to talk to you about if God told you to go get it, then don't let anyone talk you out of it. Our scripture reference is coming from Numbers 13, 25 through 32, and I will read it for your hearing. And they returned from spying out the land after 40 days. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, we went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. Oh, the cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possessions, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land, which they had spied out, saying, the land through which we have gone and spy is a land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. In these particular scriptures, it gives reference to Moses sending out 12 spies to seek out the promised land. The Lord instructed Moses to go to the land that he promised the children of Israel. Now, when the spies returned, they came back raving about how the land flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Now, this fruit, was, which, which is uh, like big, huge, it was grapes that were so heavy that two men had to carry them. The spies were afraid to conquer the land, and they said, the people are strong and very large. And we saw the descendants of Anak, which were giants. Now, this is where fear sets in. The spies looked at their circumstances, saw with their own eyes what it looked like, and it seems to me, after God brought them across the Red Sea, that he parted, that he saved them from Pharaoh and all the sharks and all the sea creatures, and he fed them manna every day. And you still don't believe that he can give you the land that he already promised you? He gave it to you. All you had to do was have enough faith to go get it. You see, a lot of times we miss out on blessings and opportunities on windows that are only open for a certain time because we don't trust God and because of fear. Fear is only false evidence appearing real. Out of all 12 spies, only two, Caleb and Joshua, believed that they could conquer and overtake this land. They believed God and agreed that this is something we can do. When two or three touch and agree and believing anything is possible. You cannot base your beliefs on what everyone else says or what everyone else is doing. What did God tell you to do? Don't get distracted by someone else's fears. Know who you are in Christ Jesus. You have the authority and the power. If he promised you something, it will come to pass. Now you say, how do I know he promised me something? Well, get in his presence and allow him to tell you. Just make sure that you do your part and believe. The decision not to pursue was due to the Israelites, their fear. So they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years and eventually they died off. The next generation, Joshua and Caleb, were able to possess the land. Don't ever miss out on your promised land because of someone else's decision to be paralyzed by fear. Someone else's decision should not determine on what your next move is. You are more than a conqueror. Mm. Hallelujah. It is, hallelujah. It is your faith that pleases God. Lord, help us to believe you and help our unbelief. Amen. 
So with that being said, just know that God loves you, that I love you, and if you need prayer, just let me know. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.